The, uh, <laughs> um, it's in December. You're coming off the final of the women's 100 meter hurdles. A little bittersweet, but in those semifinals, did you set a personal best? I did. I set a national record, which has been my goal all season. And just my sisters, just saying. <laughs> so I'm very grateful. And all, all the glory goes to the Lord. But I'm just, I've been working very hard towards that. So. Do, do you talk to your sister about that? I mean, that, of course, that's your goal. And of course, she knows she's retired. So you, she knows you're coming for it. But what is that conversation like? I mean, I always told her, you know, I'm going to beat it. But, you know, we just, we just let the results show. So she knows. And she's also cheering me on. I always cheered her on when she was running. So we just have that good rivalry, but also very uh, respectful towards each other so and I know I mean the semifinals were crazy fast and it was like um, you know initial reactions were all over the place um, what did you think or feel when you saw that time on the board your time to be fair when I crossed the line I was like wow I just ran so slow and then I saw that time and I was like wait that was super fast so I, yeah I knew that she could run fast too and that was just incredible so you know it just makes us want to go better and I think we all can run fast so and what does that mean about maybe your training and your preparations leading into this meet for you to come here and set that personal best national record? Yeah, I mean, my training's been going amazing. I knew that something special was coming. I changed programs this year, and my coach has been very, very helpful. So uh, I needed to get that final out in because I never had a world championship final. So now that I know what it feels like, I'm coming for a medal next time. <laughs> well, I mean, you've been in Olympic final, yeah, right? Or so. I haven't made the worlds. I, I've had two that I haven't made it through, so... And so you mentioned that you changed, um, you know, coaches this year, changed training systems, right? And what was that like? Did that present any anticipation or nervousness, you know, big change? Absolutely. I mean, every time you change something, you get a little bit of anxiety, right? But um, I knew he's coached good girls in the past, and he seems to have a good uh, pedigree. So I'm just happy that I did the change. Two other questions. Um, what do you think this means for you going forward? I know we have, it's only like mid-season, right? We have a lot more to go. What does this mean for you going forward? To be fair, I think uh, it just brings confidence. I haven't um, really been competing as much as normal. So I still think I haven't reached my peak. That's fun. It's funny. So I'm, I'm excited to see what's to come. And then representing Great Britain on the world stage year after year, you've been so consistent for many years and you're still super, super young and have a long way to go. What does that mean to you to represent? Oh, it's amazing. I'm just happy that I could compete and do well and hopefully always represent the British flag well. So just happy to be here and I'm really hoping to continue to progress. One more question. Am I right that you have some Nigerian background and roots? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so my dad was born in Nigeria and so just raised in the Nigerian British household has been something I've always had. <laughs> Do you, um, do you know where your dad is from in Nigeria? Uh, yeah, I believe, let me see, Anicha? Or is that my mom? Oh, yeah. so my mom, she was born in London. I'm just trying to think. I'm not sure the exact place. I'm pretty sure it's Anicha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, thank you so much. Amazing job and looking forward to the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.